In this video, I will be going over another very anomalous level inside the backrooms, known only as Backrooms Level X. This one involves time loops and a bunch of mental hazards and a strange creature that lurks deep inside, and I know y'all enjoy that kind of stuff, so I think you'll enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Backrooms Level X is classified as a class infinite because of its stopped time, infinite time loops, and it's devoid of entities, and that's marked out. So we'll see what that means later on. I'm sure it can't be good. Some wanderers refer to this level as the frozen roads, but not for the reason you think. They're not like frozen with water and ice, they're frozen in time. The level itself takes the appearance of a conglomeration of mountains and hills that are all interconnected by roads made out of gray concrete and asphalt. The land surrounding the roads is dry and it often goes through complete droughts. And because of this, it looks very barren and it really lacks color. The environment here is also constantly fluctuating in temperature and weather as well, with both extremes being very common. Like within a matter of minutes, it can go from being burning hot to freezing cold. Investigations into the level have revealed that each of the level's mountains is different from a physical standpoint. They're all unique, there's no repeating ones. Some are bigger, some are smaller, and some of them have different objects on the very top. These mountains are connected by those roads that I mentioned that snake up and down each of them. The roads have no beginning and they have no end, and they're just thought to essentially lead people into this labyrinth of twists and turns with no way to get off. The actual roads themselves seem to have a strange phenomenon that happens when people get near them. It's almost like they draw and convince people to walk down them, like it's an addiction. And doing so will result in that wanderer getting madly addicted to walking on another road, and another road, and another road, and walking up and down the mountains over and over and over until you just fade away. Essentially, it's like a drug. You physically and mentally get addicted to walking over these roads. The geometry inside this level is also pretty unusual in the way that it's non-Euclidean, and it can cause you to walk in a certain direction but you'll actually end up behind where you started walking without even realizing. This adds to the very confusing aspects in this level. On the very tops of the hills and the mountains of this place, unique objects can be found. Now these objects will be different for everybody who comes to the level, and it seems as if the level uses objects from each wanderer's real life to put here. For example, you might be on the top of a mountain and you might see an old car that you had from real life or something like that. Or you might find a stone on top of a mountain with writing carved in it about your family's past. Typically, these objects are something that revolve around traumatic areas in your life. For example, if you had like a bad experience at the hospital as a kid, you might find a hospital bed on top of the mountain. And if you're exploring this level with more than one person, you both will see entirely different things at the top of the mountain. Even though you're there at the same time, you will see different things and be able to interact with different things as well. The level seems to play on each wanderer's trauma and the issues from their past life from reality. It acts as almost like a sort of prison that forces each person that comes here to walk up and down these mountains forever and to relive things from their traumatic childhood. At the top of each mountain, something from their old life sits there and it just makes people more sad, but they're still addicted to walking, so they keep getting sad over and over and over again. While walking around these barren hills and roads for an undetermined amount of time, you might run across a randomly placed city. Now the city will be made out of concrete concrete, and it'll be completely concrete. There'll be houses and buildings and all sorts of things like that, and more specifically, there will be houses that can be fully explored. These houses tend to have living rooms and dining rooms and basements, and they all take the design of houses in the bungalow style from the 70s to the 90s. These cities and houses seem very out of place and very empty. There's not a soul in sight. After all, you've been walking around in the barren mountains for days, so why would there be people here too? The houses are a good place to rest on your journey, however, if you do run into them. Some of them can even have phones inside. However, picking up a phone and dialing a number will not work, and all you'll hear is an automated voice saying, this number is unreachable, 
please try again. If you leave the city in a neighborhood and continue walking down the roads, you might run into weird metal fences placed in seemingly random spots along these roads and along the desert. These fences act as sort of a roadblock. The road itself goes past these blocks, and you can also explore past them, you can just easily climb over them, but it is extremely dangerous to explore past them for a multitude of reasons. The fences themselves seem to be electric in nature, and just by touching them, you can injure yourself so badly you might get cardiac arrest or something like that. But the real issue is what's beyond the fences, and why the fences exist to keep people from going deeper into the level. Maybe the question we shouldn't be asking is, why are we locked out of this area? And instead we should be asking, what's being locked in that area? Whispers of a giant creature lurking deep inside the desert mountains constantly float around this level, but I'll get into more of that later. Along the roads here, there are signs on each side of them, like roundabout signs, left and right turn signs, and others too, and there are also signs in the cities, like parking signs and no parking signs as well. All of these signs seem to be useless, because there's barely any cars and no one lives here, so I'm unsure why they're there. Now at the start of this level, you heard me talk about the level being called the Frozen Roads, and that is because the second you get sent here, like the first step you take, Time will freeze for you and all of your surroundings. The freeze will affect objects and items and everything else, like clocks and watches and hourglasses, and time itself will be at a standstill, and it'll stay frozen until you leave the level fully. The freeze affects everything outside of the back rooms for you as well. It also affects aging, in a good way though, because as long as you're here, you won't age at all. Essentially, it's like a time capsule. When you exit the level, you'll be right back where you entered, like at that exact moment, which can be pretty weird for anyone you were walking with or something like that, because you could be walking down, let's say, level 11, and then you fall into this level and spend years inside of it, then exit, you'll still be right back where you were in level 11, like no time had passed at all, and your friends will act like nothing happened because there was like a millisecond of time that passed. And since time freezes during your journey in level X, no time will have actually gone by. The only known and documented entity here is named Kit. Now, Kit roams the roads of level X, and it takes the appearance of a male calico cat. Kit usually lives inside the concrete city here, but has been seen wandering deeper in the roads before. He's usually passive, and he enjoys getting food fed to him by wanderers. However, if you try to scare him, he will run away and hide. But beyond those electric gates I mentioned earlier is something unusual that most people never see or never dare to look for. It's thought that some sort of time deity or some sort of time monster lurks behind the fences and kind of puppet strings the level and it controls it in a way. It's unknown what the creature looks like or if it even exists, but there's been scarce writings and whispers about it for a long time. The level's already scary enough with its time effects and its addictive nature that keeps you walking and its ability to warp your mind, so who's to say there's not something even more dangerous here like that entity? At the bottom of the level page, there's a secret link that takes you to a log page that pretty much says the following. It says the level was discovered back in 1994, because that's when all the clocks on this level seem to stop first. And since then, the clocks will reverse in time one minute for every minute that has passed in real life. It's almost like the level's going back in time constantly, at the exact same rate that time passes, so it's like a paradox. A team would then explore this level, and they would find those fences, and the cities, and all that stuff, and more importantly, they would find bodies frozen in time. The identity of these bodies, whoever they are, and the reason they're just frozen in time is unknown, but it seems to have a weird connection with level negative 1000, as that level also has strange time properties. Either way though, if you do see a frozen person in time on this level ever, it is advised to not approach them and definitely do not touch them under any circumstance, as time derealization could occur, and for your own safety, after you see a frozen body, you should leave and not stay in the level. It's unknown what causes the bodies to be frozen or how that happened, but it's best to avoid them. To enter the level, you can no-clip through metal doors on level one, and to exit, you can find a car in the city here to get sent back to level one. Cars will just constantly drive around sometimes, so it's hard to see where they're at because they're always moving, but if you do find one, go for it. Either way, you're gonna wanna leave as fast as you can as to not get sucked into exploring the hills forever or encountering whatever entities lurk inside the deep hills.
that's it for the video. Thank you for watching till the end. I really hope you enjoyed it. This level was awesome. I really enjoy levels that play on time and its weird effects. It's always like a cool thing to explore in the back rooms. They're some of my favorites. Anyways, thank you for checking this video out. If you do want more videos like this, I upload three to four times a week and you can subscribe. It's free. Also, I make morbid and creepy documentaries over on my other channel, Spoogly, if you want to check that one out too. I put my heart and soul into all the videos on all these channels and I really hope y'all are enjoying them. Thank you so much for all you do. You can also follow my Twitter and Instagram if you want like a real life keeping up with me. But with all that said, I will see you in the next video. Make sure to tell somebody you love them because life's too short not to. And with all that said, goodbye.